Hi guys, how you going? I'm here with a Coles haul for you all today. Welcome, thanks for coming by. Yesterday I went out to Woolworths and this morning I went to Coles. Inflation where I'm living at the moment is um, definitely noticeable. The checkout um, person that served me this morning actually told me she's changed the ticket on an item three times this week alone. So that definitely shows you that inflation is hitting. Um, so for me personally, I am trying to be a bit more I'm smart with my money and just stretch out my food and do my research before I go to the shop and spend any money really because, um, yeah, the pandemic is quite scary at the moment and inflation is going to keep on going. The meat's going up, fruit's going up, pretty much nearly everything is going up. So, yeah, just for me and my family, I am going to try to be a little bit more smart, conscious where I spend my money. And so, yeah. She, uh, once again, the lady pretty much commented on my bargain hunting skills today because all of this was just $114, and that's that's pretty excellent going, I'd say. So if she's commenting on it, then I'll take that. <laughs> anyway, let's jump into it. So um, usually I will take uh, my preference with the Costco toilet paper. We'll go out there every, every other month, and I'll pick up one of those, although I haven't been out there just yet. Even if I manage to go to Costco by the end of the week or next week, I will pick up one of those. But for now, I just picked up one of these Quilton ones. My preference is the Costco one. I think the quality of that one is really good. It's the purple bath tissue big packet. But yeah, if I can't get that, then I'll just stick with the Quilton. I just got a Coles $2 floor cleaner. It was only $2. I've never used it, so I can't really tell you if it's good. Um, I just also want to say regarding cleaning products and things of this nature that if a Woolworths reward or a flyby reward, um, whatever the flyby is, um, will give me a benefit or a perk to buy a certain brand or if it's half price or, you know, if a reward, reward me in some way, then, you know, generally I will go for, you know, those products. But in light of trying to save some money and be more conscious, I've just stuck with the home brand things today. So you've got some floor cleaner there and just some hand wash that I have to refill in my bathrooms. And in my laundry, I'm currently waiting for a big lot of detergent powder to be dropped off because I desperately need some. I have yeah, haven't washed in a few days and, yep, yeah, need to get onto that. So I just got this $1.50 one from Coles in the meantime so I can start getting some cleaning done. I've just got some sponges there to replace cleaning and things. Um, so over here we have the rolled oats. I usually, uh, I was getting the ones from Woolworths for a while. However, I think that's $1.40 and you get 750 grams. And I paid $1.60 for this today and I think there's 900 grams in there. So went ahead and got that. My son loves this. I'll just cook it up in the morning and I'll add some cinnamon and some brown sugar. And it's so healthy and it's so, so good. Those mini packs that you can get, the variety packs, I was buying them as well for quite a while, but when you really think about it, how much oats are in that entire box compared to just cooking it up yourself. And I promise you, when you cook it up yourself, it is so amazing if you, you know, spend the time to do so. And yeah, I feel like it's healthier for you anyway, and there's way less sugar. So yeah, we got a bag of the I'm Perfect 2 Kilo apples. Apples were crazy today. They were... I think between, yeah, they were all either 5 50 and up per kilo, single loose apples. So I decided to go ahead and get the two kilo bag today, and this was $5.90. I'm going to make some sausage rolls later on in the week, so some of those will go in there, and the rest of them will be chomping on for eating. Over here we have some snow peas. I'm actually going to have to return those. I paid two ninety for this tiny little bag, and they're not really nice at all, so I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to return them and get my money back. Um, next we have some cucumbers. I actually didn't realize the price of them. I just grabbed them and left for my son's school lunches. Turns out I paid um, $2.99 for these two little Lebanese cucumbers. So I won't be doing that again. I will definitely be noticing how much something is before I leave. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so over here we got some soup starter packs. I'm not sure if all the coals are selling these for only a dollar today or if it was just my coals, but these were only a dollar each and I thought that was an excellent deal. I needed some onions and I decided to be stingy and just take the ones out of here. I'm going to use one of these and turn into a chicken soup of some description and the other one I'm going to turn into a beef stew casserole and use it towards curries and other things just because it says soup. You can use it for whatever you want, can't you? So <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, over here we got some oranges. They were three fifty a kilo this week. I went ahead and got seven. This was six dollars um 
total for these. Um, so they're really juicy and heavy. I picked them out. They, they smell amazing and they're really good at the moment. So decided to get some of those. I bought three pairs. These were $2.00. 14 so I'm not sure if that's a good deal but I went ahead and got them anyway the peckham pears were on sale per kilo but they they were just way too hard and I decided that we'd go for these good winter delicious pears instead so up over here I went ahead and got the Vita gummies they were half price this week for 120 um little gummies that you get in there and I think they were 14 dollars half half price so decided to grab one of those Usually I will get the 80 cent um, tin tomatoes, whatever variety that I'm feeling. But again, just to try and cut back and save that extra bit of money, I decided just to get the 60 cent cans. So I got two of those and that was only 80 cents. So I grabbed one of them just for some cooking this week. Stews, curries, soups, whatevers. And then over here, again, meat prices are definitely going up. The red meat is um, starting to get pretty scary. Um, I had a hunt. They had some um, reduced stickers on some of the packs of meat today. However, um, when it came to the lamb, because um, I'm wanting to do a lamb curry and experiment with some some of the soup veg that I have and make up one of those in rice, bag them up for my um, little toddler during the week and for a few dinners. So I went ahead and got one of these shank meat boneless. I've used these a few times. They're quite nice if you know how to cook them. So stay tuned and maybe I'll show you how to make a delicious Indian curry with one of those. Um, I got two packs of meat, so I'm still umming and ahhing. Uh, I really don't like paying for the price of mints from Coles or Woolies, if I'm honest. I'd rather go out to Costco. Usually I'll get one of the big bread minces. So again, if I go out there the end of the week, I'm still going to pick up one of those, even though I bought these just to last me in the meantime. So one of these will go towards a Mexican meal probably next week. And then the other one I'm going to turn into sausage rolls and add some of the young apples and some veggies and some spinach, all those good things. Make them up for my family. I also got a sesame seeds to go on top of my sausage rolls. And then just for my pantry, um, I stock up. I did need some mustard seeds, so I went ahead and picked those up. Over here, I found a reduced sticker. I was going to get the 2 for 12 pack of sausages today, although I did see this one and decided I'll just get this one instead. Um, you know, we don't eat sausages every single week and definitely not every second week to be honest they're just kind of a backup meal when I'm feeling lazy and I can't be bothered to cook something you know a bit more fancy I'll just whack out snags and veg but today what I'm going to try to do with these is I'm going to try to take the inside out and turn them into some sort of an American breakfast sausage patty style I see those on a few YouTube videos and they look really delicious and we have some English muffins over here so we're going to do that for breakfast so get some sort of a sausage patty going with an egg homemade maybe some cheese and yeah so that's what I'm kind of like feeling for a breakfast one night this week so that's what I got those for over here I did find a 15.85 piece of beef um, beef roast I haven't actually had this before so I can't tell you if it's good or not however I will update you this is 1.36 kilo, 1585. So for my family, um, we're going to get two meals out of that. Still a little bit expensive, I guess. But um, yeah, I need the red meat and the price of steak and even the rump at the moment. And, you know, cheap, cheap cuts of meat that if you're not aware, definitely aren't worth the price that they're charging you. So yeah, decided just to go with this and, you know, enjoy what we're eating and stretch it at the same time and then we got some parsley there and some whole cloves just to top up for the pantry and Coles gravy mix again I've never actually used the Coles brand usually I'll get the Gravebox one but um, I decided to go ahead and get this one um, my little toddler um, sometimes we like to do him a little mash and you know a bit of gravy and do mock homemade KFC mash at home type style because you can put whatever veggies in your mash that you want um, so I went ahead and got that and I also sometimes use that to thicken up stews or whatever really sometimes I'm just craving gravy so got that um, we also got a no sugar raspberry and a multivitamin juice um, the raspberry was only a dollar so you know and the juice was two dollars fifteen I think again haven't tried this one but decided to grab it anyway so in case we need some juice in the morning got some on hand um, again, when I go out to Costco, usually I will buy their lure pack, um, the big butter. I'm not sure if it's a kilo or 1.5 kilo. I'm not too sure. 
it's usually $15 and I will buy it because the patch the shit, let's get real. Um, but yeah, we'll go between that. Sometimes I get the Nuddleix from there and the Nuddleix are two kilo one, although for my family, we do struggle to use it in time and um, if you let it go too long, sometimes the water will start separating from, you know, the butter itself. So um, for now, you know, all, I mean, the butter at the Coles and Woolworths are quite expensive, in my opinion, for little tubs of butter. Um, even the Proactive, sometimes that's at Costco for a pretty decent price. Sometimes it's eleven fifty, I think. So sometimes we'll switch between that as well. But again, like I said, I haven't been out to Costco, so I'm just filling up with these little little um olive oil ones that's two dollars eighty in my opinion it's way too expensive but i did need a butter and didn't want to run out so i just got that anyway and then we just got a chicken stock to help flavor my soups and things now for my son coles had a 1.25 jar of these this week for nine dollars twenty and i really did want to get them but um he hasn't actually tried all this before and i'm trying to get him to try some other things and make our snack boards a bit more exciting so i went ahead and got these and i'm thinking now that you know it's been a few ways since a uh, few years since he's possibly tried them I might hit him up and try them again and see if he decides that he might like them and if not we'll eat them and add them to salads and pizzas and things like that and then the last thing that i got this week was we are australian after all and this was new at the kids' snack section, so I went ahead and decided to get this for my toddler. Um, I think it was about $2.20. So, yeah, a lot of the baby pouches and things like that can be overpriced. They have porridge there for $5 a box when you can make your own. But, again, convenience, you know, and also baby tapes pretty much. So, um, yeah, we got that. He hasn't tried them yet, but he's having a little nap. And when he wakes up, I might give him one of these with his lunch. So, again... All of this cost me $114, guys. Um, I'm not sure if that's good or not to you, but for my family, I think that's pretty excellent considering I've got five packs of meat there. And, yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming and checking it out again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.